Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own VTuber program using Unity and the OSC protocol doing virtual motion capture. Okay, cool. Well first, as he said, we are going to be using Unity. But not only Unity, we are going to be using the Unity Hub. Next, we are going to be using the OSC protocol doing virtual motion capture with it. So, we are going to be using this bad boy. <laughs> but we are not going to be using it directly. We are going to use EVMC for you. Uh, that stands for Easy Visual Motion Capture for Unity. Okay, let me go through the steps with you. Okay, first, you need to download Unity Hub or you're going to have to download your specific Unity version that you want to use. Uh, then download EVMC for you. Then we are going to create our project. And uh, then we are going to do a bunch of magic. Okay, let's go to it. First, you're going to download Unity. You can choose your own version of Unity or you can download Unity Hub. I have already downloaded Unity Hub, so I'm just going to go with Unity Hub. Then we are going to download EVMC for you. This is going to download the external receiver pack, blah blah blah, zip. Cool. Okay, let's uh, do that. And then now, after you've done that, I'm going to go to Unity Hub. In Unity Hub, if you chose Unity Hub, you will need to install here at the latest or the recommended release. In my case, I'm using the recommended release. I have it downloaded over here. And after you have downloaded it, you need to go to projects, go to new. You create a new project using your version. You open it. There you go. You name it. It's going to be a 3D project. Uh, I'm going to call it um, VTuber App Tutorial. There you go. And you wait. Okay, now that your project has opened, you're going to go to wherever you downloaded EVMC for you. There you go, as you can see I have the external receiver pack and you're going to extract everything here. Extract. Then, after extracting, you're going to go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. You're going to search where your package is. In my case, is uh, literally here in Unity VTube Tutorial. You're going to select the Unity Package and open it. This prompt is going to come up, you just say import. Okay, accept all for uni GLF. Oh yeah. This is the whole bundle. EVMC for you comes with the BRM importer, with UOSC, which is a OSC BMC wrapper. And okay, now that you have everything here, next thing I'm going to do is going to create a folder. You will see why next. Go name it avatar. There you go. Now, inside of Avatar, I'm going to drag my VRM file, which is my Avatar file. In this case, it's going to be Tutorial 2. And this is a, an Avatar that I've modified with HANA tool. go and I'm going to drag it and drop it inside of my scene there you go 
look at it cool now that I have my avatar here I'm going to add a little thing called let me go here the external receiver this is the thing that makes sure that your avatar moves from the data that you receive in go to UOSC, go to scripts and put on the server from the server there you go in my case I'm going to use the server 39.5.41 because 39.5.40 which is the default I'm already using in this avatar so yeah um, okay and here in model in the external receiver I'm going to select my avatar in this case is going to be tutorial 2 there you go there you go and this is how easy it is to implement this because now even though the cam is actually wrong if you check tutorial 2 we should see that it's actually moving now let's modify this let's click on our cam let's move the cam so it actually, it actually works let's put it up a little bit let's uh, press E and do a rotation here there you go, about there let's press W move it a little bit up there you go and ta-da! as you can see I can move my whole body well not the whole body but I can move whatever I'm getting from OSC BMC exactly like my avatar over here in the bottom right okay cool oh let me show you if you didn't see it there you go in tutorial we have over here we have the external receiver which has the model tutorial 2 and we have uh, this bad boy the OSC server which says 39541 which is the port of which I'm sending data okay now what if I want to send data from here to another application let's say okay if I want to do that then I'll need to do first a client I need to add a client there you go a client this bad boy let's say I use the port 39545 no 580 there you go okay and next I'll need to know how to send but EVMC for you doesn't come with a with an easy example on how to do that so what we're going to do is go to the web page that I didn't show you in the end okay here is going to be a link to this page in this page you go to sample bones send bundle CS okay here you're going to copy everything and remember the name uh, sample bones send bundle with capitals okay cool uh, we're going to go here we're going to go with uh, create a C sharp script sample bones send bundle there you go and now you're going to open it I'm opening it with a uh, Visual Studio, but in theory, oh, do Control A, select everything, erase it, and then paste. There you go, and then go like here, and uh, say save everything. Uh, some characters, Unicode, no, are not okay. I don't care about the. Japanese characters so just say save and say no 
That's cool. So it is going to save, but it's not going to do anything with the character seats. Okay, there you go. Cool. Then we're going to add this to this. Now we have the sample bones and bundle. We're going to go to tutorial. Click here. We're going to choose the model. As I said before, make case is tutorial. And we are sending data to 39580. Now, let me put uh, my VTuber again. Uh, 39580 is the second port that my VTuber is receiving. So, in theory, you won't see anything, any change. But, if I were to receive other data, let's say from 39545, and I were to you know, open an app that sends data to that port. Let me show you. This 3D Post Tracker is a cool app that uses a webcam to track your post. There you go. But as you can see, it moves a little bit too much, right? The cool thing you can do with OSC VMC is you can choose what you want to track, what you want to use. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say 39.545 is the port I'm getting, which is the port that I'm sending over here. Apply it, we say OK. Cool. And then I run this. And as you can see, I am in the other, in the VC phase. I am getting to move my arms and getting to move my face at the same time. And it's not as wobbly. That's the cool thing and the magic of OSC VMC. You can have a bunch of different trackings and you can send all the data to one source and you can put it in your avatar and make a cool bunch of cool stuff. And in the next tutorials, I'm going to show you how to do a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> First, the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, have uh, multiple receivers. Because as you can see uh, right now on the screen, this avatar is only receiving uh, the, the capture from the movement, the hand movement and the body movement, but not the face movement. Next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to receive data from multiple sources. And then I'm going to show you how to get hand tracking with media pipe. And that's it. Okay, now we go here, we build and run. Uh, let's create one folder. Let's call it build and then ta-da! you have your own VTuber application okay, thanks for watching <laughs> if you liked the video and will like it and if you really liked it subscribe I will be doing more stuff for this uh, if you have an idea of something you would like to see uh, leave it in the comments see you next time bye bye